In today's video, I'm going to be going over some new news we have on the release of um, the Submerge map, as well as Pulse.gg on Android, and as well as some other uh, new updates that are in the works. So yeah, make sure you guys do stick to the, around to the end of this video, because we got a lot to cover. But yeah, right now, I have the Town of Us mod, which is created by the creators of Pulse.gg, which is the Submerge map. I just want to show you guys, before we get into anything, look how many settings and look how many roles there is. On the town of us uh, mod which is pretty much like they're created by the same people but it's I don't think they're really working on it too much anymore and I don't know how well it works anymore because you know they kind of are working on you know the submerged map and the pulse.gg for PC and Android so I don't know how much they're really updating this as much as they used to but as you can see look how many uh, roles we have on here compared to the Pulse.gg one, which as you can see on the left, we have all of them right there, or you can see uh, in this little settings list. But yeah, we do not have that many compared to the other ones. Also guys, if you want to know how to get these free uh, four, uh, six hats with the Pulse.gg mod, make sure you guys go press the top right hand of your video right now to go check that out, or first link down below. But for the Android release, we do have confirmation that everything that we have on PC is going to be available for the Android version. So the maps, the roles. Also, we have kind of a time frame on when it may be coming out. So we're also going to be going over that. But yeah, just real quick before we get into, you know, the whole Android uh, discussion. Look how many, once again, look how many roles we have on the official Pulse.gg thing compared to the Town of Us among us mod created by the same people it's a big difference so we're probably gonna get a bunch of these in pulse.gg uh soon but quickly we could see right here that these are also them this, these are all the crewmate roles that you know we kind of just went over but um yeah we do have some of the same ones we got snitch we got um the seer i'm pretty sure is kind of like the oracle one but i'm not 100 sure we got the engineer the sheriff so there are some that um are like you know we do see some of them in the pulse.gg theme add-on as well as some that were uh in the old town of us mod but you guys could just take a look at these real quick i'm not going to go over every single one and what they do but yeah we got the jester right here we have the phantom as well on the uh, pulse.gg and then for the imposter ones the super we have more fling we have but as you can see there's a lot of different ones and a lot of new ones so we're probably going to be getting some of these soon in the future I was looking through like some old messages in the official Pulse.gg Discord and I found this very very interesting. Here this uh, Discord user which is also happens to be one of the owners of the whole server says that mod updates will be regular so they're not just going to be like two months I'll have an update, two more months, four more months I'll have an update. They're going to be regular so they're going to be constantly working on the Pulse.gg add-on. But right here it says more time is being spent on solid foundational work right now, anti-cheat, competitive lobbies, etc. This was on March 18th though, so this was kind of a while ago, but it says competitive lobbies? And no one really knows what that means. As you can see, um, this user said, what do you mean by competitive lobbies? Like it's kind of, you know, we don't, competitive lobbies in among, like what? That doesn't really, you know, make sense. But what I'm guessing is that like... Maybe with the better crew link uh, add-on as well, which allows like voice chat, I believe, and all that. Maybe you could do something through there where like you have to, you know, you just try to win every game, no matter if you're the imposter or crewmate. And there's gonna be like a leaderboard. I'm not, com I'm not 100% sure, but that's very interesting. And they said, um, they also said, uh, like people are saying, like, oh, I've never heard about that before, and then. The owner said that's because we're the first to do it. I don't want to leak the details of it yet, but it's but it's more or less what you would expect, though. So we're getting competitive lobbies, which is pretty, pretty, you know, kind of strange, but, you know, kind of cool as well. We also have confirmation right here. Yep, it's releasing on Windows and Android. So there, there you go. It is coming out on Android. Also, right here, all game modes and features will be available on both platforms with cross-play. So if you're on Android, I'm on PC. We're going to be able to play with each other by, you know, joining this code just like you can in normal Among Us, which is pretty, pretty cool. But yeah, so that's some new news. They didn't state anywhere else besides, like, you know, just these little uh, general chat, you know, kind of kind of conversations. It's not huge news, but it's definitely some news that they're going to be working on different roles and different game modes and that competitive mode. But yeah, quickly, just for, like, kind of a time 
like a time where the Android re release may be near. If you search up two weeks in the Discord server, we got 533 results, and you guys can pause and read these. But uh, this, once again, is the owner at minimum two weeks. So two weeks from the release date, it's already been, I think, almost a week. So about another week, but that's going to be at minimum. A lot of people say you shouldn't set an expectation for it. Um, it's going to, may take a bit longer. So the minimum is two weeks, but it's probably going to be a, you know, a good amount more than that. Also, kind of like the um, PC version being released, it did kind of take a while. I don't know if you guys remember, but we were expecting like the PC version to come out a lot, lot, lot earlier than it really did. So, you, you know, you might have to wait a little bit for the Android version. Yeah, maybe there'll be some new pets and hats as well. We actually already have some. They're kind of hidden though. Not really hidden, but they are in a kind of a odd spot, so you might not see them. But I did make a video on that. My last video actually, I went over all of these and you know what you get with them. But yeah, so once again, if you want to see that video, first link in the description. So yeah, hopefully we're going to be seeing a lot of new updates soon. Uh, the Android, I'll keep you guys updated if there's any new updates. Once again, magic number is kind of like two weeks. That's what everyone's saying. It's probably going to be more though, like realistically. They're probably just saying that, you know, to hype it up so people don't forget about it. And then, you know, they might just come out with the Android version a bit later. But, um, yeah, that's pretty much all we got for now. I'm probably going to be making these kind of, you know, check-in videos and news videos, you know, every, every now and then. But yeah, if you guys did enjoy, please make sure you have a like. Subscribe down below for more, you know, Among Us submerged Map type content. But yeah, that's it for me. I'll see you guys in the next one.